How's it going guys? It's Robin here. I'm going to do your daily tarot card reading for Sunday, June 19th, and I will be using the Gilded Tarot. So on Sundays, I like to focus on what is available to manifest. And I, I just want to see if I can quickly flip, flip the camera over because I want you guys to see the view that I get when I'm doing your reading. So ignore my clutter for starters. Hold on. It's not working. Ooh, wrong button. That's why. Hold on. I'll try again. So there's Lacey all sprawled out and there's all my junk over there. So ignore that. But this is what I see every morning when I'm doing reading. So I'm going to flip you back to me. Okay, so there we go. So she's absolutely adorable. Um, lending her energy to me and I absolutely love that. So let's pull a card from the good tarot. Did I say Sunday, June 19th? I meant to, but you know. <clears throat> so anyway, let's have a card. Eight of Earth. Okay. So I think this is going to be like an excellent card for you guys, especially if you've been thinking, I don't know what else I can do, you know, I'm trying to manifest. It's just what is taking so long, like any sort of doubts that you've been having, you should be getting the answers to today. So the eight of earth, and this is really beautiful. Uh, let me clear my throat. Like in the sense that it is coming in the form of music. Okay. So is this a cello? Somebody let me know. I have absolutely no idea. But anyway, the pentacles, the symbols of earth and material wealth, stability and growth, <clears throat> they are attached to a musical instrument, okay? So you could receive a sudden inspiration or some sort of a message when you're listening, listening to music today. So maybe make sure that you listen to music. If you're driving in your car, like working in your garden, cleaning your house or whatever it is, throw on some tunes because there is sudden inspiration in music for you today that is going to give you some sort of a amplification or the energy to continue on like because sometimes when you're on a plateau and the universe is taking its time rewarding you or bringing in your manifestations it's exhausting okay so you should have that alleviated for you today and be able to learn a little bit more of your capacity and your strength and and learn how to manifest on a different level okay so let me pull another card here there is a definite big accomplishment accomplishment coming in. So I'm getting the sense here from my guides that the thing that might have to happen for you is to complete one cycle before you start another one or another one starts to actually activate in source, okay? So there could be a conclusion, a natural conclusion to something that is happening. There is a big change afoot for you guys. So expect one situation to resolve itself and you be very successful at this and move on to the next level. So this might not be something that you would really readily recognize because it could be on a karmic level, okay? So um, you could accomplish a level of healing, things that used to bother you, they don't bother you anymore. So you can expect things to feel really, <clears throat> I'm getting the word ebullient, is that a word? I think so, from my guides, something I would never use, but just maybe a little bit of a, a pep in your step that wasn't there yesterday, just really feeling a little bit lighter, some of the healing work that you might have been doing for yourself, starting to pay off, like cord cutting, like any sort of like mastery. You're going to master a level. And when you master that level, that means you can go on to the next one. So if you guys have been stuck in a, like, I can only manifest this much and, you know, uh, like, why can't I move or why can't I travel? You can expect a sudden start to happen for you, okay? So let me pull another card. This is so beautiful. I absolutely love the high priestess here. And we've been seeing a lot of balance going on in your lives, okay? So anytime you see two pillars in the background and they're nice and straight and tall, this is a reflection of balance in your life. And I did see this in one other reading this week for you guys, but I can't remember, okay? So there's something so poignant in the high priestess card, okay? Is that she just sort of floats above earthly concern and she just follows her heart. The lesson from the high priestess is that she understands that your heart whispers your true story to you on a constant basis. So if you are able to block out the universal chatter, like the 
sort of the subconscious things that come into your mind, like negative collective energy, like your inner saboteur, and just listen to the whispers of your heart. Oh, I actually love that. Okay, so everything is going to be okay. Your heart will never steer you wrong. Even if an outcome isn't like what you might have desired, this is something that you need to do. Uh, as part of your soul contract, okay? So you've got a lot of really beautiful and positive energy here. And you know what? It's taking you places, okay? It's absolutely taking you places. You've got the King of Pentacles here. This is a symbol of like everything that you want, everything you desire, everything that you have been asking for is absolutely possible for you, okay? So Learn how to find your inspiration in different things, okay? And I'm getting here that this music that we're seeing with the Eight of Earth could also be getting outside, listening to nature. Like one of my favorite sounds in the whole wide world is the wind blowing through the trees, you know, and the sound of the leaves and listening to water, you know, and listening to birds sing. It's unmatched. If you guys are unable to actually hear these sounds, like put on a nature track on YouTube. It's really relaxing. You could even sleep with stuff like that on. It really like calms you. You know what I mean? And it can bring up and allow you to listen to these whispers from the heart with the high priestess and never forget who you are. You own your life, okay? Don't let anybody else tell you anything different okay so whatever is in your heart that you want to manifest for yourself you've absolutely got this so a completion of a cycle coming in very quickly for you guys i've seen a lot of big changes this week so get ready to ride it all the way to the top with the king of pentacles bye guys <laughs>